Well, I didn't think I'd be doing this today. Hi everyone, my name is Phony, and this is the last video I'm going to be recording on my Galaxy S20 Plus, because I got myself a new main phone, Google Pixel 7 Pro. After the video is done uploading and stuff like that, the SIM card is going out of this and into this. But for now, I got myself a $30 phone lot yet again, because that's literally what I do now. I swear, 30 is my lucky number. But this one is kind of special because it has a phone that I've been wanting for a long time now. So, with my handy dandy scissors, we're gonna see what we got inside. Alright, so let's open this. Okay. Nah. Let's go over here. Just put it here. And the scissors are good for this. Yay, I think. Yes! We do have stuff in here, and I see it. We got a lot of... 10 phones? Yeah, 10. And here we are. And all the bubble wrap is going out of here. And there you go. So, like last time, I'm gonna bring everything out one by one to show you exactly what I got. And they're all in a plastic bag, too. That's fantastic. So we can just go over every single one of them. Oh, boy. All right. So the first phone in the bag, we're going to go over this one. This Samsung on Metro PCS. Or not Metro. Why did I say Metro PCS? It's on AT&T. Looks to be in good condition. Um, let me see if I can get the back off somehow. And we have no battery. That's fine. I think I have one. It is a... Okay, let's see if I can get the focus here. It says SPH A1, or, yeah, A187. I should have a battery for it. Hopefully it works. Next up is this Samsung. I believe it's a T105G. Um, yeah, this thing does have a battery, so that's pretty good. It does not have a SIM card, I think. Oh, no, it does. Okay, that's fine. Um, I want to say I do have a charger for it. Um, however, I'm not sure. I can check, though. Next up is this. This is an LG. Um, let's see if this thing has a battery. Probably, hopefully it does. Um, yeah, it does. Yep, okay. Um, alright, let's see if we can get this battery out. Uh... That's a weird way to get the battery out. Okay, yeah, it's on old Sprint. Um, it is a PM325. I'm sure I have a charger for this. Yeah, I think I do. I think I have a charger for this. So, yeah. Um, if I can put this on here, great. Alright, next phone here is this AudioVox, which is something I didn't expect to get for a while. <laughs> this is an AudioVox, um, AudioVox phone, I can't remember what exactly the model number, but... Oh, you open it like this. It does have battery, which is visible. Um, alright. CDM 8500VM, which stands for Virgin Mobile. Um... I don't know if I have a charger for it. I mean, I might, I might not, but we'll find out. Next up is this LG. Uh, it's probably on track phone or something. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Let me see. Yeah, it's on track phone. Um, let me see if I can uh, get the back plate off here if I can find. Okay, there we go. I got mostly dumb phones this time, so yeah. Um, LG G40, G440 GB, so yeah, that's that. The next phone we got here is this LG, which is literally just a chocolate bar phone, that's fantastic. Um, I'm assuming this thing does, have, yes it does have a battery, does it have a SIM card? Yes it does. It is an LG GL, LG, uh, LG 328 um, BG, so yeah. I'm not- I wouldn't discuss if this one works. Um... This one! Uh, I- I was really excited about this one, too. Because look how old it looks. My goodness. Wanna say it's a V66? I can- I can check. Just let me take off the back cover and the battery here. It is a... Um... Shoot. I'm trying to find it here. Yeah, I don't know who the model number is. Um, yeah, let me see the battery. 
No, it doesn't have a model number. But I for sure have a charger for it. I mean, I think, at least I think I do. So I'm gonna put the back cover on this. I'm excited to test this. Um, okay, we got three phones left. This is a BlackBerry Curve. It doesn't have a battery. I wouldn't be surprised if this worked. So yeah, it's on Metro PCS. All right, phone number nine is this Galaxy J3. I think it's a J3 Prime. It doesn't have any Verizon logo or anything like that, so I'm guessing it's on, it does have a battery. Ooh, ooh, we got an SD card in this thing. It's a 64 gigabyte one too. It's a Sony one. No SIM card. Um, it's a Samsung SM. Yeah, I want to say it's on track then because it has a T at the end of the morning. Well, let me try to get this SD card back in. Hold on a second. I am still here. Eh, hold on a second. The water damage indicator seems to be red. However, I'm not sure. I still wouldn't be surprised if this worked. This all came to me untested. Now, the real phone that I've wanted. This Galaxy S6 Edge. Definitely looks like it has screen protector on it. Um, yeah, I've wanted this thing ever since it came out in 20, in like 2015, or I've wanted it ever since 2016. So yeah, it looks beat up, but and it's also cracked in the back. But yeah, I'll be back uh, once I test everything, and yeah. All right, so I'm back. I've tested everything so far. I mean, I've only done a few minutes of testing on each and every single one of them. And these were the results so far. This is really sad. This Galaxy S6 Edge, I think, might be water damaged. Uh, it didn't show any sign of life on the charger or the wireless charger, so it just might be dead. I will keep it on the charger for several hours, and if it doesn't work, I may just put it in, like, rice or something, but... Yeah, it just doesn't show any sign of life. This Samsung right here, uh, the SGH-A187, I do not have a battery for this thing. So, uh, it is untested, plus the charging port is really wonky, so... Yeah. Next up is this Motorola. Um, it's on T-Mobile. I forgot the model number, but... Oh, I thought the buttons were too chunky. Oh, doesn't have a SIM card. Yeah, uh, I thought the buttons were too chunky on this thing, or just they weren't pressing down enough. Yeah, like now. See, the buttons just, I th think, need to be pressed really hard. But it does work, I just need a SIM card for it. I definitely have a T-Mobile SIM card somewhere. Next up is this AudioVox phone. It does work, however, um... The, the charger I have, I'm not sure it supports because it just instantly turns on and then just shuts off. So uh, I might need to get a new charger. This LG right here, this does work. Wait, yeah. This LG right here, the LG PM, it does work. So yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. I've wanted one of these for a little bit. So yeah, it's on Sprint. And, oh, that ref that display it does not look great on here. I'm just going to lock it. There we go. The good riddance for this recording on this thing, because this thing is not great. The battery... That was fast. <laughs> the battery uh, I have in here is... I don't think it's a good battery. Um, I do... The other battery that came with it was a bad battery, but this one might be also a bad battery, so I don't know. This Samsung... Uh, oh, wait, I didn't even test this thing, so I don't even know why it's here. Uh, yeah, like I said, I only put a few minutes into everything, so I will give you an update if this works. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. This LG right here, this does work as well. The four, uh, It's not 440, but yeah, this does work. Let me just wait for it to turn on. Just gonna wait for it to turn on. This is taking a long time. There we go. 
Yep. Works fine. No problems. And yeah, it's gonna die. So. Yeah, shh. I'm not gonna. I'll explore it later, but. There we go. Next up is this LG. This phone also does work fine. I have the model numbers in my, uh, I made a document for all my phones here. And yeah, now the display goes really dark. There we go. Yeah, this does work as well. Just a basic LG flip phone. Like I said, I have the model numbers in a Google Doc, so I can tell you what they are at some point. But yeah, I want to say this was owned by the same person. Also, it's a very cute picture of a dog here, so I'm going to shut it off. So yeah, shh, shut up, please. Yeah, all right. Monochrome display here. And right now, the best one is this Galaxy J3. This phone works completely fine. This thing was actually not reset when I got it. Or it was not reset, so I just <laughs> reset it. And yeah, it just works completely fine. It's on T-Mobile. It's not on track phone as I thought. So yeah. I it's all it's set up and stuff, so yeah. Alright, that is it for this one. And my last video on my Galaxy S20 Plus. I'm gonna kinda miss this thing, but hey, it is what it is. Besides that. It's phony, and hopefully my next video will be about the outside of the US one.